Welcome back everyone to an episode. If you're wondering why I'm still loading in, I just got a message that my skull broke. So that's why I'm currently loading in and I have no time to do a real intro. So yeah, let's quickly hop on the server, see what's going on. Okay, so this does not look good. Um yeah, so apparently most of the statues are going on. I definitely see some destruction. The tree is gone. Okay, so me and Gargantuan Schlong, um, we fought Expoiled, and we wanted to just fight and get it over with. So we fought him. Um, I used an X and crystal over here, right where the subsidiary is. I, see. I didn't realize it was gonna. I didn't. I thought he was gonna be down here in time, so I, I weakened. I popped his totem. Spoiled, killed him. Then I popped the totem right over here and used the end crystal. It somehow duplicated, Spoiled's duplicated ender pearls, and now his entire inventory was only end um ender pearls when he when his inventory was dropped. And then it destroyed some of the skull, and also it destroyed the heads inside down there for some reason. I used V2, and it destroyed the heads down here. Okay, so I just fixed the skull. Uh, this is what I ended up with. I made it so it at least sort of looks like it's been ripped apart doesn't come through for someone who doesn't know what it's supposed to look like, but I think it, it works. I sadly, as you can see, didn't get all of the correct skulls back again, because of course, for the command to give me the correct skull, they would need to have the correct skin active, as of the point I'm putting in the command, and they didn't, so that's why I don't have the correct skulls for these two. Um. I put back the armor together, I still need pants for Spud, I still need boots. Uh, of course I need boots for Spud as well. I still need Dan's boots and his torso back, so I need to get some leather to put those back. And I also need to get another uh, person on the skull. Because, um, basically this hole, um, as you know, was a fight between... Gargan, no, and Expoiled. And Expoiled died, so we need to get Expoiled on the head as well. So we'll need to see where we put him. I think somewhere on this side is pretty empty. But yeah, um, I think I'll go collect some leather and put back the last characters. Well, we are back, and this is everything I have collected. I have been farming for like two days every time I had time or went on the server just walked around and farmed as you can see on my map look at this huge all of this is what I found in like two three days so just walking around the server this is at like y16,000 uh, x16,000 so I've been walking around for quite some time and this is all of the not food stuff that I've gotten from it. So quickly want to show you everything. So I got a lot of sunflowers. So I will be good on tokens for the rest of the event. Um I have a lot of leather now because I needed leather. That is actually the uh, only reason I actually started walking out and I had nothing else to do, so I just collected leather for two days straight, so there's that. Then I got a Bought a row to the dirt because I need that for a build that I'm planning. And this is everything from one tree. I did not know that, like, one tree gives you around 12, so like 11 stacks and 18. That is a lot for one tree. That was huge. Got a bit of rose bushes just because I like them. It's one of my favorite blocks in the game, so I collected them when I found them. Got a lot of wool. Over here we have a lot of feathers, so we'll be good to go on those as well. Got a bit of weed seeds, a bunch of flowers, bone and a few rabbit hides. And then up above here is like the miscellaneous stuff, I actually need to put these away. 
I actually didn't have enough place for them down there when I first started it. So we can actually take these with us now. I found an enchanted golden apple, so that's really cool. And yeah, just like a bit of food stuff, a uh, few materials, stuff to eat, really cool. There is a lot of food in here, didn't know that. Well, talking of food, now let's go down. I will show you all everything I collected in the last two days. Now it looks normal, but I did change something. So if you don't know how this looked before, of heels like weed and like carrot stuff like that, there was a steak, so mainly flesh stuff in here. Uh, over here we had um, potatoes, and over in here we have carrots. This is how I sorted it. I needed to change it. Now all of the weed is in here, so because I needed more space, I did not have enough space anymore. Because in here, if we quickly put all the other stuff away, um, you know, have a lot of food. And I mean it when I say we have a lot of food. Like, look at this. I can't even put all of the food in the correct place because we have too much. So this is mental. So we have enough food on these, but also down here. Uh, wrong one. Down here. We have a lot of food in here as well. Now, of course, the baked potatoes are taking a lot of space, which would otherwise be empty. But this is because I have actually still some baked potatoes over in my starter base, which I need to get over here, which will probably fill this whole thing. So, there's that. So, we're good to go on the food. And we all enjoy an apple, so that's sick, that's sick. So, yeah. Um, I think I will now start, after, of course, sleeping start construction on my mine entrance, though we'll have to check on the mine, maybe I'll have to move it. Because what I was scared about is, and what I found out whilst editing the last video, basically if I were to continue the mine straight down, I would end up in Lemonade's base. Because underground, over there, somewhere over there, in a, in a cave, as you've seen in the last video, and um, I would like build straight into that cave, so I will have to check that if I can like maybe sort some things out. Then I will probably continue the wall if I have enough time today. Uh, I will need to see. Don't want to plan too much. And also a quick update for the event. Hey, it's me from the edit. I quickly wanted to explain what is currently going on in the event as I didn't really clearly explain it in the video. Basically, Goji and No planned to fight, but Goji didn't want to. I said that I would pay the winner of that fight five done blocks. Goji agreed, then left. Next time we all three were on, I suggested the fight to happen at that point. Goji was down, but then left because he had his 20 hours, the mandatory time for the event, full. So he just left. And then Lee and No said that that was a rule, Blake, as he technically broke the contract and then should either be thrown out of the event or be converted. Of course, I can't really do that as it isn't fair. But. No, and Lee are insisting on me to do such things. Now, we are currently in a fight. Basically, No and Lee are saying that Goji should be converted, become a converted, and Goji and Carnage uh, say that he should stay villager. And this has happened so quickly that it became a literal lawsuit. So I'm currently a judge in that fight and Lee and Carnage are the lawyers. Which means I will this Sunday decide whose side wins one day before the event ends. Which means if Goji becomes converted 
he practically has no way of winning the event anymore. But we'll see what will happen at that point in the next episode. Now, let's continue. Okay, apparently some had a really fun night, because a lot has happened. So as you can see, someone stripped the whole tree, again, if you're wondering why I said again, it's just because this already happened once. Adding on to that, of course, by my concern, I checked my shop. I would check the others, the thing is I don't know what they have stocked, so I don't know what they would be missing. As you can see, someone definitely was here. If we track down here, now nothing is missing on this side, and no event diamonds are stolen. But one thing that has definitely been stolen is over here. There should be a lot of more diamonds in here. So, at least four here, and it's definitely at least been two rows. And I know this, and I know that there were. 54 diamonds in here, because one chest is filled with 54 slots, and I put down 54 paper. However, as you can see, there is emptiness, which means someone had a real fun night. There's a lot of stuff missing, and yeah, I think someone did not want to be on the server anymore. What I don't get is, why though? Okay, so we've been looking around and as you can see the tree has been fixed and we already now know who the culprit was, who the player was that has again um griefed the server spawn. Um of course I won't be naming names, just friendly sake. But let's just say that the Enderman farm and the Fence Mart are both now under new owners and that player has been banned from the server as it has been his second strike. So the fence mart is now owned by No, and I actually got a sweet deal as well because I know that's a new design own this fella because both of them were at auction and I bought this guy for a stack of diamonds I know, quite a hefty price, considering it's relatively easy to build it. And I have, for now, taken down the paywall that was put up by the previous owner. However, I might actually put in a second paywall. Just because, I mean, like, again, that is quite the hefty price. I will need to check what I can do with all of these ender pools because there are definitely too many and I don't need any of them. So I'll have to check that. But yeah, uh, I now own the Enderman farm. And yeah, really cool. And by the way, I think with this I will need to end this episode just because it's already really late. Friday, and I need to edit the video, and tomorrow I won't have any time, so there's that. However, I think that it's actually good that we will do it like this, because that means that the next episode will be very interesting. If you're wondering why, basically, 
as you may or may not know, as I said in this video, there will be a court ruling about who wins. If it's Goji or no. If you don't know what I mean, they both had a fight. And Goji just left the fight without starting it. So we will see who will end up winning that. And yeah, I think that's it. Uh, there haven't been any more converted and there have not been any more kills. Which means I won't do a update this week as that was basically the update. I uh, got a bit stuff done, I got the farm done. I farmed a lot of sand as you might have seen the time lapse before. Because I have a secret project where I don't even know if I can actually do it. But I will get into contact with Goji if he's cool with me doing that project. So yeah, um, I think there's going to be a lot of cool stuff in the next episode. And until then, you all have a great rest of your day, and see you in the next one. Goodbye!